Welcome to Big Dick Sight. <laughs> this hurt my feelings, but look, it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do. So now that that's formatted. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. Y'all need to I think at this it. point, that is the only word that brings fear to me. Format. <laughs> like... Y'all don't even dig like That's so fucking a whole month of content from the first day I'm canceling to fucking place. yesterday. The first day to yesterday. October 6th to October 26th. Like, <laughs> this shit is stupid, bro. I'm mad about it. So, we just gonna tell y'all. So, in this episode, we just gonna tell y'all about our experience. If I have any footage about any moment that we're talking about, I'm gonna try to put it up on the screen. That's all I got, man. Yo! <laughs> I'm ugly! <laughs> we're on our way to California. Well, Actually, we're, we're in California. We're 57 minutes away from our destination, actually. Four hour drive. Um, what shit <laughs> so let's tell, let's tell them what happened. Okay, so the first night was great. The first night we went outside was very exciting. We did shrooms. We tripped hard as ugh. hard as f. It was great. We lay at nighttime. We were laying down, and we had the roof off, so we were able to just be in the sky. It was just. Beautiful, beautiful sky. We had great conversation. We were talking about like life, life, but basically like real. having realizations. Well, really, we already knew these things, but just really having conversation about how we feel about society and where it is and control and power and things like that. So it was a great night great conversation um in the morning we actually found out we were on airport land <laughs> mind you though we had been there for damn near like a day and a half yeah because we got there about four o'clock the day before and then we left we were leaving it was like late morning mm -hmm. that was the first night it was a fantastic night and woke up to a great day Ugh, fucking varying shit Yes, going to the bathroom. Like first, first of all, the first few days, mm -hmm. the first few days, maybe the first few days, we had the bucket. The first few days we had the bucket, and before we had the seat, we just had the bucket. But every night, every night, yeah, sitting on that, it was like, oh my god, we gotta figure it out. Burning your shit is real humbling. Let me tell you. <laughs> It was in the desert, so oh my street in the daytime and cold at night. Oh my god, hot the in the day. for the first time. Oh my god, wait, let's roll back, roll back. 
in the desert it is hot during the day well at the time because as the weeks went by it changed the weather changed so it'll be hot during the day at first and then it'll be freezing cold at night no not freezing cold i'm just saying cold yeah, at first it was hot as shit and like cool at night. yeah yeah we were still sleeping in a tent and then we went up to the mountains and when we <laughs> went to the mountains we went to the mountains like we were going to the desert um really it was because the area we were in that day that campground was closer so we said fuck it we just gonna go see what it was about that is exactly what happened actually <laughs> that is what happened. not thinking it's in the mountains it's in the mountains and it was Break out that mouth. <laughs> Yo, we was not prepared for that. Oh my god. Fucking, fucking cold. Like, I'm not like, even gonna say, uh, no, it was fucking, fucking cold. cold. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was so cold, we was about to light up. We took one puff each. It was like, no, bitch, I, I, I can't even smoke. That's how fucking it was cold it was. Horrible. It was cold as shit that we night. Woke up early as shit to pick up. Yeah, woke up early as shit. First Experience a tarantula. First thing in the morning. Experience the tarantula when we were packing up in the morning. Um, that was great. We went back to the mountains a because, later. yeah, a few weeks later, maybe two weeks later, we went back to the mountains. Actually, this week we just left the mountains. Yeah. Um, it's very like I love being up there. It's just prettiest scenery. I just really seen. feel at home up there, but it's so cold, so I have to wait. I have to wait. <laughs> I have to come. I have to go to the mountains when it's springtime. I'm like, why are we stopping the fucking school bus? Where All right, so boom. No, Spring Mountain was cold as shit again, so we left. Yes. But it was better this time. But it is the prettiest scenery that we have seen thus far. Thus far, yes. Um, what else? I feel like when we were in the desert, it helped us really get comfortable. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? That's one thing we did say. We wanted to say for the first month. never lived outside we never lived outside like this little city we just drove through was the cutest thing ever it was never went never came this way to california but i like it but yeah we never lived outside before so <laughs> we need to stay close make sure we weren't doing too much and i don't know that you can do too much yeah um, unintentionally one of the next the, the episode 15 that i already edited but couldn't export <laughs> It was showing y'all how we, when we first packed, we overpacked the car. Like it was just too much, so we had to go back to the storage and repack. I don't know if that's in episode fourteen. We repacked, yeah, a couple times thus far. Because every time you go, specifically for like a good amount of time, you realize more and more like what you really need, what you don't need, and so on and so forth. In total, we've done a repack like three times. Yeah, three times. And it gets better every time. Mm -hmm. So it's like we definitely learn and get smarter every time. Every you know? time, yeah. And like it do be moments we laugh at ourselves. Like again, we forgot we had forgotten utensils. Twice. No, the first time we thought we forgot utensils, they were in the bag. They were in the bag. That's one thing you learn because you pack so much shit. You do have to look every. Everywhere. Everywhere. Every pocket. Yep. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> we bought a solar shower. I'm about to eat them. When we get back outside, I'm going to show you all the solar power shower. <laughs> Speaking of solar power, we'll set the camp up and just do a whole little tour thing. We have. Did you cut me off? I'm sorry. The solar power is my favorite thing because number Damn. one, I'm never paying uh, electric again, <laughs> ever again. Number two, it kind of helped me learn how to tell the time by the sun and the moon. Well, solar power by the sun, but nighttime, I tell the time by the moon in the morning, from the night to the morning. And that's one of my favorite things so far. About Come on, indigenous. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things so far about being a home man. Learning how to tell time without. Okay, Ranger. Okay. Learning how to tell time without.
the creative time. At that, honestly, when we're out there, like creative time is only matters when I'm in a city because stuff closed because time was created so they say it closed at this time right <laughs> so I love it we outside oh yeah episode 1 through 12 isn't coming out until fucksocietiesrules.com drops and that's on period uh -huh. ah. baby made a fire my man a fire pit my man hey. made a fire pit uh, when we went to Spring Mountain, it was windy and shit. Like, I'm right. mad. Y'all can't see how windy it was, bro. That shit. Did you record some video? No, I did it off on the GoPro. Damn. It was so windy. Like, we were holding right. on so tight because we fought for your life. We fought. If we didn't hold on, the fucking tent Timothy would have been gone. Timothy, that's the tent name. Timothy, Timothy would have been gone. the fuck nah. away, bitch. Man, we was holding on. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No, we had to like put the tent in and then put rocks on every state. What is it? Yeah, the state. That's what they call on every state that Bro. we put down because that shit was crazy. Crazy. Like y'all don't even dig how strong. Like <laughs> all I think you rock was how we was holding on for our dear fucking lives. And looking at each other like. Cause it was like, what was he going to do? Cause nobody hear nothing down. And this shit about to blow away. What are we about to do? <laughs> we just look at each other, bro. Like, hold on, bitch. Have a look, we gotta hold on, hold on. <laughs> just don't let this shit go. <laughs> no, cause I was like, I'm gonna hold it. And you <laughs> hurry and you nail it down. He was like, all right, back. Yo. So I'm still. Like, yo, I'm talking feet planted, planted, like, hold the on tight, bro. Y'all don't fucking dig it, yo. Y'all don't dig how that moment was when niggas so like, was trying to roll it up, and no one was going. <laughs> the tarp, yo, <laughs> yo. One time you was, first of all, the wind is not your friend. The wind, bro. <laughs> yo.
I'm, 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 I'm walking the ball, go, ball, go, out, out for the, out, out for the.